So hypophosphatasia is a disease um, where bone mineralization does not occur as it properly should. Um, it's previously been thought to be both a severe neonatal form and is now being found to be also an adult form and is more of a spectrum of disease than it was previously thought to be. It can also be inherited in both autosomal recessive and autosomal dominant forms of inheritance, which make it a particularly challenging condition to diagnose um, and a challenging condition from a counseling perspective with multiple types of inheritance. Um, it's pretty much a new area of study in the sense that it was previously thought to be just this neonatal form that was very severe and now we're finding a lot of patients who have had subtle clinical symptoms during childhood and adolescence and who have a lot of pain, a lot of fatigue, a lot of clinical burden in their adult life and have not been able to find an answer for. Um, so working with that adult population has been very rewarding to try and find an answer for them and give them some options now that the treatment Strenzik has been approved by the FDA. So I think the, the biggest thing is having informed clinicians and geneticists obviously know about HPP, but you don't get to a geneticist unless you have an informed clinician before. Uh, a geneticist. So that's really the, the biggest outreach work that we have to do right now is to educate pediatricians, educate um, pediatrician uh, or pediatric dentists in particular because hypophosphatasia can also have dental problems including early tooth loss. Um, and so we've had a number of referrals come to us from pediatric dentists. Um, but then just general practitioners who are dealing with these types of general symptoms having kind of a keen eye and it, Maybe not knowing specifically that it's hypophosphatasia, but knowing that it warrants a, a genetics referral. And then on the neonatal side, it's really important to educate clinicians like neonatologists, those who are working in um, prenatal um, care and in, in the birthing unit to understand that hypophosphatasia, while it can look like other skeletal dysplasias, which are typically fatal and don't have treatment, uh, there is a treatment available. and so differentiating those babies with HPP from those who have other forms of skeletal dysplasia is beyond pivotal because there is a treatment that has been miraculously effective in that population.